What's up guys? Hello and welcome back to Manapatao Chronicles. <laughs> Daddy Mato here. Kokuluaga. Yes, the ma the ma and pa. I am the ma <laughs> of Manapatao. You are the pa of Manapatao. <laughs> umama yangu ni okay? jitokeza sai. You may choose to jitokeza in front of the camera. Umama. Mama, umama simba. Um, it's because of mamas that people are even in this world. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Thank you very much for joining us today. And again as you can see we are not at home. We are at the beautiful Ibi Style hotel that is in Nairobi Rafter Road in Westlands. A very amazing, cozy, nice, elegant, Tea beautiful, stylish. beautiful place that we're mm. really enjoying. We had a, we planned to have a staycation outside of home and said that, you know, Ibi style have always been amazing to us. We just came over, fantastic, mm. delicious food. Mm. The staff are so amazing yes. from the gate to your room. Just amazing, amazing. And of course, there are definitely some offers that we are still going to mention about. Yeah. We mentioned the previous videos, we're gonna mention again so that you can always know that in case you want a place to just go and chill mm -hmm. for a weekend. Yeah. Kuna for me a weekend. Hey, kuna but amazing for prices, for a weekend. Bana. Amazing, amazing prices. Huh? We are going to tell you about that very soon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so our topic for this week. So um, when we came back, we you know revealed that uh, <laughs> we planned God love. And then um, there was uh, when, you know, she was unwell and I was unwell. Then it just conjured up, you know, it brought the questions. Uh, how ready can you be for life? And then, other than being ready for life, how ready are we for this second child? And how ready can you be? You know, I remember before Marcus was born, Christine and I used to have a lot of conversations on how we were planning to raise our kids, how many kids we had hoped to have. She said five. I laughed. I, I know. I laughed. He, hear me she out. She said five <laughs> children. I'm an only child. So we didn't quite do panka kulipisha until I went through labor. <laughs> I was induced twice. That was enough for me to rethink my decision. <laughs> we might have five children, even though they're not all from me, because I'm open to adopt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Uh, so uh, when we'd have those conversations, we'd say, "Sawa, na yata disciplinary, na yata ko nini." Then you How realize, we bring them up? yes. Then you realize there are some instances where yendi yana mtetea, yendi yana mtetea, yendi lukona fakuwa disciplinary. Yendi yana fakuwa mash, yendi yana fakuwa wewe. Alafu, <laughs> mi mi, so yeye akipanish mutoto, ana 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 panish mutoto, na ana panish sawa sawa, na mutoto ana fail ame panishika. Mimi wacha niguze mutoto. And people go, ayewe. Yeah. Wacha kuwa. Ameskia. Uh, Aki use, use house voice. Don't shout. <laughs> use just the house voice. Don't. Eh, that, that is not going to go through if you shout like that. Don't touch my baby. Don't shout at my baby. <laughs> These are the ones who become spoiled grandmothers. <laughs> Aki. I don't know. I always thought I'd be the disciplinarian. I always thought I'd be the one who... Who who is is is, is the sort of the one who mama ki mama me say man watcha to skin, but <coughs> excuse me, I always find myself or catch myself being so not sympathetic. I I don't know. I just don't want any harm to come to my ch child. Mm, yeah, that, that happens. That happens. And unfortunately, or fortunately, fortunately for the child, unfortunately for the parent, <laughs> who's supposed to be doing the disciplining. So. Um, How Marcus, Marcus comes, we were not prepared. We, we had, yes, had conversations on kids and pregnant, not really pregnancy, but, you know, conversations on kids and how we were planning to, or rather we were hoping to raise our kids. Uh, but we never really were ready for Marcus to come. But then when Marcus came, we embraced it wholeheartedly. We knew we were new at this. We were just making our mistakes here and there as we go. Um, and then... We felt if we were to have a second child, because we were, were hoping and planning to have a second child, if we were going to have a second later. child, later, yes, definitely, later, of course, <laughs> I mean, if we were to have a second child, um, at least we have cleared the basics, we've done some of our mistakes with Marcus. As it goes with every parent who says, uh, mistakes you make with the first child, the second child is, is going to be easier, I think in a Kwagani misconception, because the second child comes with something totally different. Very. You might have a firstborn child and, who's a son, and then the second born is a daughter, and they're like, oh, paragasha. Or you might have a, do uh, a daughter and a son, which is different dynamic. Or you might even have a son and a son, or a daughter and a daughter. But then you see they are very different individuals. You're forgetting who... even as, as the parent, you're not the same person you were oh, yes. three years ago. Mm. So you're evolving and you're changing. Mm. 
So you can be a totally different person because for instance with Marcus I feel I was a completely different woman mm. than the person I am today. Mm. And there I say during Marcus's time I feel like I took it better I took motherhood better mm-hmm. with, without being so antsy as opposed to now. Mm. Now I'm really antsy. Why are you feel, you're anxious? Yes. Why? I feel unprepared. I feel I don't know. I feel But we've done this before. I mean, to I know, it should be easy. It to, should be to easy. To men that you need parenting school to men. I know. At the pass with flying colors or sababu bado tujamaliza the journey still continues but una for sure mtia ningi. It should be like it should be something that you're like I can, I've already done this before. Mm. But it feels like something totally new. Mm. And now that I have a feeling and a knowing of what parenting is like I feel like that's a reason of why i have so much more dread because mm. with marcus it's a new thing you're excited mm. you you're green you don't know what is happening so you have so right now it's the fear of knowing the the the, the bad things that are going to come yes. the not so pleasant moments that are going to come that have to come that must come ignorance ignorance is it's truly bliss, bliss. <laughs> it is truly Could you bliss. Your Could you because with marcus we were just going with the flow you know mm. you're like okay oh okay so this is what happens but mm. now that i have an inkling into what being a parent a mom is mm. i'm dreading oh by the way in case uh, our second born watches this video we are still going to give it our all it does Definitely. not matter whether we are ready or not we are still going to give it our all the same way we gave it our all with marcus is the same way we're going to give it our all with you because that is all we have <laughs> and lucky for you you also have marcus who is there who's an emotionally intelligent child yeah. to have you as their big brother i mean to be your big you're brother you're so lucky you're, very lucky. you're, you're so very lucky, lucky, lucky to have lucky. marcus as a big brother you see one of the one of the uh, conversations that we used to have with our parents is they they, they kept on insisting have a second child have a second child i know But we kept on saying we are not ready why were you saying you're not ready largely financially where we were mm. and where, where we were you know for us for Martin and I it's it sort of feels like we are building the foundation blocks of what is to come later on mm. so we are in that stage of we have we have to focus and toil and 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 just rain in mm. on this foundation let's get this foundation strong mm. so that when we're building it up mm. It's, it 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 becomes in, it it morphs into this beautiful thing mm. which is our brand and our work because mm. clearly we shall be working together for the rest <laughs> of our lives <laughs> i hope you are ready for that <laughs> <laughs> that is a whole topic on its own yeah. anyway mm. so that is what is on my mind like mm. we've just started this we've just started exploring different waters and seeing what we can do with what we've just started mm. i mean we should give ourselves time to focus on that mm. and on markers only which is easier with one child so now bringing in this second child in the midst of having this great thing in our hands that god has placed for us to build on mm. and and expound mm. these five talents that we're supposed to extend to 10 talents yeah. It's dreadful. You see, one thing one thing one thing is for sure in many homes this might be conversations that people have in their heads by themselves whether they are ready, you know, mm. to to uh, to start a journey or not, whether they are ready to even be be parents again, whether they are ready to go to, back to the sleepless nights. Uh you just have these conversations in your head and then unamaliza unasema ah kang ngumu ngumu una unafanya it's important to discuss this with your partner so that the two of you can also understand your positions of dread if you have any so that you can be each others you know sounding board yeah. so to speak it was just not it's just not financial even emotionally mm. I, i wasn't where i am today today mm. i'm just settling into my new normal i'm mm. just settling beginning to settle into mm. this is my life let's do something with this mm. But I remember mm-hmm. I remember you mentioned something where you said you feel that mentally you're better now yes than you were oh, when yes. when you know getting marked just last year last year or the year before not mm-hmm. even far far back mm-hmm. I'm better I, I mean mentally because I'm just settled you know mm-hmm. I'm not floating around mm-hmm. in a way I'm settling I'm not completely settled but I'm settling and mm-hmm. I have found my pieces that I'm that I have fit together mm. the pieces are starting to fit mm. that's i i think that's why i'm in a better place. for for me do i feel i'm prepared for this um i always go back to saying how prepared can you be really because you mm. don't know what is coming you do not know what is coming um if we say you we say uh, you have all the money in the world sour uh, money is not everything when it comes to raising a child they are they are they are emotional the emotional issues you need to handle their physiological psychological 
issues that you need to handle. Mm. So, uh, did I feel I was ready? No, I, yes, I felt I was not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I felt I was not ready for a second child. Mm. Um, reason being, of course, as I mentioned in the previous videos, we had um, being being the being the head of the home, being the breadwinner. There are responsibilities that, as much as you'd want to ignore and say, ah, to hack it. No, you have utasema ndio ah, to hack it. But in the back of your mind, una hack ni? Yeah. Mungu akileta mtoto na mleta na sahani yake. Kweli. Contents za hizo sahani ni zipi? Yeah. Uko ready na umetayarisha hizo contents za hizo sahani? Yeah. Hizo sahani lazima zikuje na kitu kwa sababu yeye atakula sahani tupu. And then it's true that at the very beginning um mtoi hata huwa hakui gharama kubwa kwa sababu kazi yake ni kukula kulala kukula kulala kukula kulala tunguo hapa na pale and thank god for, especially with Marcus we never had issues of kugonjeka 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 La, we thank god and we hope that that the, the next child still gets the same grace that we were offered uh, but hiyo uh, hiyo hiyo gharama si kubwa sana but you see sasa sisi tumeingia ile phase yenyewe sasa ndio Marcus alikuwa anaingia kukua gharama kwa sababu sasa ndio anaanzia kuingia shule na vitu kama hizo and this genius uh, child of ours is, is threatening to insist on being taken to those uh, to those very 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 interesting schools only to discover that public schools performed better than those schools this year in the KCP so what are we saying so what are we saying there is still an aspect that those interesting schools that you're mentioning mm. that brings that public schools don't mm. because in public schools it's academics 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 mm. with those schools he it's can awesome. take music classes mm. he can he can explore other things which is what i would love mm. for him to explore mm. anyway, <sighs> that's, so that's can clearly be another a conversation for another day mm. um so right now primarily we should um i i, I want to say we should focus on markers but then we have someone else coming who will not wait for us to focus on Marcus so set him up <laughs> set him up he's ready we send him to the world mm. and then we turn and we focus on this other one nope the world will not give you that opportunity the world will not give you that chance so, so what are you going to do there is that aspect of being emotionally unprepared mm. because you are sort of responsible for the emotional wholeness growth of this being that mm. you've brought into this world mm. You have to bring up a same person. Mm. Somebody who is wholesome. Try as much as possible to bring up somebody who is wholesome emotionally and mentally the inner man. Mm. Hey, God to that say dear mercy. God to that say dear. So as far as our preparedness financially, you know, let's try let's let's you know, list it down. Financially, are we prepared? Nope. Again, uh, how prepared can you be? But you know, um oh, yeah, one prepared. thing one thing I know for sure is that This is going to be a, a, a huge dent of course to us because we have to be very ready we have to we would want to give our child the best we would want we have been trying the best to give our child mm. the best and whoever is coming we want to offer them more or mm -hmm. you know better or you know or if not the same mm -hmm. and ensure that they also get the best that they can get out of us mm. you know it's our responsibility for now maybe why they watch our 18 right <laughs> Whether ni vijana ama ni wasicha okay msichana akikuja sawa anaweza tudia tudia but kabo uh, Marcus 18 8 na kuonea 18 yes. what are you going to do when he turns 18 eh huh? see i'm i'm going to t to you give him a big birthday and tell him yeah you're 18 now <laughs> we are not going to be the, like that come on <laughs> our parents didn't kick us out when we turned 18 ah, this is true anyway that was mm. i was just joking mm. so <laughs> so <laughs> my baby <laughs> so financially not yet ready but we're not in the pit as we we're would say right now we're not in the right pit when we say we are prepared it's mm. just that money that we had we had set Plan aside for, for investments expanding yes. blah 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 mm. we'll have now to start being channeled yeah. into yeah. okay the family is expanding okay yeah. okay Re let's restrategize we are now hapo kwa hiyo table moving chess pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, number two, um, emotionally are we prepared Now we, are, I am. we are getting there exactly mm. it's been a journey it's been a journey mm. it's, it's a roller coaster first of all you have the the the, the pregnancy symptoms and then you're like is it is no it's not is it is it is it, is it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> no then bam it is confirmed it is the one you're like oh no oh no oh no then that's the thing that you think about every single day and then with time as we go for the first scan and then you see the child moving around you're like oh. 
<laughs> there is more to a child than they are cute <laughs> little chubby face and their stinky <laughs> diaper <laughs> then you go for the second scan you like <laughs> <laughs> that is my child. Yeah, so, so you know, you know, um, it becomes it becomes more than a small thing. It becomes a very big, huge, beautiful thing. So emotionally, it's been a journey. We are getting there. Mm. We are definitely we are better now. Five months, six, five months. It's almost five months. Five yeah, months in. Weeks. Yeah, five mm. months in compared to how we were. You know, when we got the news. I um, which other way? Mentally. Mentally, emotionally is almost kind of... Mentally is accepting. Mm. We, yeah, this is happening. Mm. Get with the, We've already gotten with the program. Yeah. Mm. And then, which other way? Physically, <laughs> I might have to mm. not go to the gym. <laughs> no, because, you know, anaitaji kasit. No, you are in kasit, maka salikuwa kitumia. After Na kalikuwa kameenda, kalikuwa kameenda. Haka kakasit. Mm. Eh, so haka kakasit kama, kama kasi na kata transfer kaende kwa watu wengine. Mm. Yeah, physically. So, the reason why we chose to share this particular topic is because we understand that it comes with with a, with a shock factor. Especially when you were not ready. Because remember, we were people who had, you know, been on contraception for a very long time. Mm, and we weren't thinking of having another Yes, child. and the only reason why the contraceptive was removed was for medical reasons. Because it was causing more damage than it was helping. And then, vavavum, you know, check it clear. <laughs> the chickens came home too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I know it can be shocking, especially, I'm sure the, the shock is not as big now compared to the shock of when uh, we were expectant with Marcus, because when we were expectant with Marcus, we were not married, we were not living together, we were not even sure what we were. Well, I knew, I knew, but she didn't know because I hadn't made all my intentions clear by then. But then we were just dating, we were mm. just courting. Mm. I was just courting her. You know, mtu haja, haja declare, haja make a stamp, haja meet wazazi. My father, my father doesn't even know you. Hakuna watu wanajua chachote. So of course it was a bit more scary for her back then than it is now. Now you see, you know, her, her fear would be probably the fact that she is not working. Because then she was working, and then I get the ambi, ah, uki jana by the way, ata akamua, kunifanyele mambo, si mimi ni na wak multinational company. <laughs> Mimi, by the way, need to have salt. Oh my goodness. My Anna is under the hook of a car hook. Goodbye. Another one. Another one. I told you, you're not my demon. You're not my one. Goodbye. Please. I think also we have community because that's one aspect of a child upbringing that is often overlooked. Community. We have great friends surrounding us. Our mm. parents are amazing grandparents. Yeah. yeah. I feel like my children have even brought my dad closer to, to me, mm. to us, yes, you know? Yes. Like, we have an amazing community surrounding us yeah. who support us in different ways. Yeah, definitely. So, because of that, we are more prepared, mm. you know? Mm. We, have, we have great people around yeah. us. So, hope and pray always that, you know, if you ever find yourself in such a situation, that the people around you will stand with you, be strong with you, uh, you know, offer you especially emotional support. Yeah, especially when those moments always, you feel mm. you feel that despair. It's not always that financial. No. Thing. Especially, you see, once once you the you in you is taken care of, you can take care of everything else. This is true. If you're okay, you can run out and you know mm. figure something out. But you see, if you're not okay inside, uta uta katu kwa kitanda kuna kitu All right. Mm. Speaking of kitanda, kitanda yentu ya apa ibin towns. Yeah. Guys, come enjoy us. Enjoy, you know, a nice time yeah. here. Ma the city, the ma the make city. sure if you know if you're just coming as a couple make sure that your contraceptive measure is working <laughs> oh properly goodness. is working properly because it can bite each other By the way, have you noticed how serene this place is yeah you would think we are in a jungle somewhere because yes but yet we're in the we're in the middle of the city it's like why I know. So just come and ooh, plug mm. our, plug mm. plug off and wait for mm. away from all the drama that is happening and just relax. And then thank you very much for you know standing with us as Mana Patao. Yes. We see all your comments, hapo social media. Yes. Um and we love and enjoy that. Thank you very much for following thank us, you. for interacting with us. Um I remember I recently posted something about uh, the fact that uh, we were not expecting to have children at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was not, you know, we were talking about children, knowing that we might have trouble getting children without intervention. Then we are here talking about expecting our second child yeah, four years on. Blessed. Four years on. 
ni God, man. Mm. Ni God and, we thank, and we thank God for that. So thank you very much again for being with us. Anything thank you'd you. like to say to conclude? Nothing. Yeah? Mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for being with us. Until the next one, see you in Kaipoa. Mm.